Everybody has the desire to do something, but they don't have that. They, they don't know how to really complete the process of dedicating themselves and having the discipline to do it. If you got the desire, you got to match match that desire with your dedication, and you got to match it with your discipline. It may not happen at the moment that you wanted to, but you got to understand the process. Everybody wants it yesterday. Sure. But if all you did was just look at the first step and get on that first step. And then when you're on that step, just look at the next step. That's it. Don't look up. Just look at that next step. You have to understand that it's not going to be easy. People think that it's, that there's no challenges. Again, people want it yesterday. Today, I want to talk about purpose. But I'm not here to give you the standard commencement about finding your purpose. We're millennials. We try to do that instinctively. Instead, I'm here to tell you that finding your purpose isn't enough. The challenge for our generation is to create a world where everyone has a sense of purpose. One of my favorite stories is when JFK went to go visit the NASA Space Center and he saw a janitor holding a broom and he asked him what he was doing, and the janitor replied, Mr. President, I'm helping put a man on the moon. Purpose is that feeling that you are a part of something bigger than yourself, that you are needed, and that you have something better ahead to work for. Purpose is what creates true happiness. Now, years later, I understand that that is how things work when there's no sense of higher purpose. So it's up to all of us to create it so we can all keep moving forward together. When you have a dream, never give up because you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. And for me now as a disabled person, I look back on my life and I'm very appreciative of the life that I've had. Well, it is a story of a woman whose perfectly imperfect life made her who and what she is today. It's the story of a woman who, in pursuit of her dreams and aspirations, made other people realize that if you think that your life is hard and you're giving up on that because you think your life is unfair, think again. Because when you think that way, you are being unfair to your own self. Made people realize that sometimes problems are not too big. We are too small. But all I knew was that if I will give up, my mother and my brothers will give up too. I cannot see them crying with me. And that day I decided that I'm going to live life for myself. I am not going to be that perfect person for someone. I am just going to take this moment and I will make it perfect for myself. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. It should be impossible for me to get back up, but it's not. You see, I will try 100 times to get up. And if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. Does that make sense? And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. I don't know how it feels to have a broken home. I don't know how it feels. But I know how it feels to have a broken heart. And I know how it feels to be alone.